wants to sell it for 100,000 kip. Where did he get it? Oh, it's lovely, Mina. <laughs> Good morning guys, Thursday 8th of August, happy birthday Nan, happy birthday Nan, um, raining outside, just thought I'd attempt some <laughs> editing, this trip's different than what we've always done before, we've been staying at each place three or four days, we're not in so much of a rush anymore, uh, because we have covered all of Laos, and now we're basing ourselves in a village and doing day trips from that. We're getting a much larger room and I do feel more comfortable, but comfortable being able to rip everything out. I'm not having to pull it out at the end of the day, set it up, quickly do something, pack it up the next day and then chuff off. It isn't so hectic anymore. So I'm um, going to attempt to edit a video and see how I go, see how I enjoy it and it might be become a thing. Won't be as many videos as I edit back home because that is full time but if I can get out one a week for you guys I'll be happy with that. Plus, like I said, it's raining outside. Moon is here doing some maths. So, um, we only arrived just last night. Uh, just a chill day today, settling in. Go out back out to the villages tomorrow. Nina wants to do some things, visit um, her family's home village, and just take our time. And take our time. In, and in the river. And go for a swim in the river. Yeah. <laughs> Go work, we both got to work. We've finally ventured outside the first time all day. Sun, sun's already set. Mina's in there somewhere. That's the restaurant there. We'll go down the ATM first, guys. Long main drag here. Spread out. Nina was saying how much this town has grown since she was last here as a kid. Uh, very understandable with the mine there now. Not sure what type of mine it is. We'll probably find out more tomorrow, but it's just so spread out. You couldn't believe the size of it. Good morning. We're down at the markets um, in Villabuli. Bang Bung is the name of the village. Villabuli is the district. Um, just in here restocking up. Today we're going to go out to Nini's father's village, which is about 30 kilometers from here. I did say this is where he grew up, but this was the main village, the big town. Where we're going is out in the sticks to where he was actually born. Tomorrow we're heading out in the opposite direction to where, to another small village to where her mother was born. And we are restocking with donations. Hey boys. Bang day. <laughs> wow, the look I got there. Huh? And the restaurant area down here, very spread out market but we're up here oh. 
Friday. What is it? It is Friday. Friday the 9th of August. And we've got the troopy parked out here. Nene's just negotiating now with the lady for all the bulk goods that we want. We're going to make the care packages up in here in the shade. This gentleman here, the owner of the store. Bit of a quick look out here. It's like the dry goods section here. Your tech section. The industrial rural section. Uh, there's more of a bus stop and another section over behind there but very spread out you could have a good wander around here and the troopy section just here a bit of a walk up here make sure we're not missing out on anything interesting like some logoless camo caps which they do not have logoless rolls off the tongue that doesn't it that one's not too bad I guess that's got a bit of an American flag on it I'm not American it's a baby Okay, better markets than what I anticipated here. Very well stocked, huge range of different things. The thin Oki straps. Cowbells. More cowbells. Uh, out and in. It's going to get dark. We're going to lose quality, but it's calling me. It is. So, um, not much recorded yesterday, as you know. Todd, so young. So young. So young. I'm pretty sure that's what's your name, isn't it? It is. Just straight to the point. It's your name. Okay. No, you need still around there. Kid. Wheeling and dealing with them, and um, I'll go and help pack these up in a minute. I'm not dodging it. I'm not sidestepping the work. No, this is our um. <laughs> this is our second day here. Our very first full day here done nothing I just stayed inside got a video edited you've already seen it by the time you've watched this you've seen it months ago hey buddy we're up on through here um, today tomorrow then we're heading on down to Sepon um, the day after which will probably be Sunday if we don't want to chill and relax because it is a, a nice guest house for the price. 200,000, we haven't paid anything more than 200,000 this trip, which is about nine US dollars. And that's for the larger rooms. We've had a fridge, a couple of beds in some cases. What are you yelling at? Todd then. All air con, great showers and that. 
and that is why I've been able to whack out a video. Had a desk, chair, and we're not in a hurry. I'm really enjoying this um, more chill way of traveling. We are taking our time and basing ourselves in a town for three or four days and venturing out, and here we are. Okay, so your heart is broken. Sitting around moping, 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 crying, crying. Said you even think about dying. But before you do anything rash, baby, oh, listen to this. Little monkey cleaner on her back. Everybody plays the fool sometimes. No exception to the rule. Little monkey. They need all the ball that we've hurt. So baby, look at you. Oh well, you're having a good time. <laughs> okay, Cop <Come> Jay. <laughs> yeah, she's a little monkey. <laughs> so baby, at least that one isn't caged, hey. It's getting around, going to the markets. Are we going down for some brekkie? Twin cab for the uh, 70s lovers. The Utes, the twin cabs, and the single cabs are 79 series. Troop here is a 78. The four door, like an SUV, is a 76. And they're all classed as 70 series. All Aussies know that. South Africans people in countries that get them. The US doesn't. How to what would we do with it? How young buy you? We'd have to want us to sell it for a hundred thousand kip. Where did he get it? Up in the forest. Mountain. Up in the mountains. Yeah. So they they capt they capture them and sell them, do they? Yeah. So did he Capture the mother also, or just the baby? Just the, just the ba just baby. Just baby. baby. Um, how long has he had it? Two months. Okay, so it is doing okay. Yeah. yeah. Poor little thing. It's easy, just sticky like Sticky rice right, uh, and rice and fruit and, and mango stuff. and, and, uh, and banana. Uh, but we still travel. We're, oh, we couldn't have one anyway. If I was to buy it, I'd be buying it to put it in a shelter. Yeah. You know, or so, it, so, so they can teach it to re-release it back out there. It's lovely, Mina. You can have Oh, yeah. Does it like you? Yeah. Ah, little girl. The little girl. 
Are you a little monkey? You're like a little monkey, yes you are. <laughs> I, I have no problem if they've got a monkey and they're treating it well as a pet. Yeah, but, yeah. Daddy, Dad, but capturing them to sell monkey and at that know. age, buying them is just encouraging them to, to do it more. They see that there's a market and they will keep taking them from the forest. They don't belong down here in the market. I really cute, I need a monkey. <laughs> I yes. want to buy. Yeah, you want to buy. We've already got our little monkey. You're hanging on for grim life, aren't you? <laughs> I'm so in two minds about finding out of somebody here where there is a shelter or somewhere you can take these animals to be re-released but on the other hand by paying him for it only a hundred thousand kit it's like four dollars sixty four dollars seventy us it's just going to encourage him to keep doing this and he's at it for two months the monkey seems pretty healthy so i'm not going to encourage the capturing of animals like that. Keep it as a pet, man. Keep it as a pet. Everybody bless the food.